What's up guys, I'm Aaron. And I'm Greg. And, okay, so Greg and I wanted to have a little bit of a discussion because the other night I watched Indie Game the movie, and if you guys haven't seen it. It's a great movie. It's yeah, great movie. it was a very interesting movie all about indie games and the way they're made and all that stuff. So I thought I'd bring up a good topic because I've seen a lot of arguing lately about if people care for them or not, and basically we want to pose the question, do you care about them? Do you want to see more of them? Do you not? What, do you have any I, I didn't even know that all of that existed. Yeah. I thought that it was people just loved all the games. But yeah, I, 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 didn't, I didn't think about it. Yeah, I, so I went on some like IGN chat room and I looked and people were just going nuts. So I was like, okay, maybe we should talk about it. But um, you saw the movie, right? Absolutely. I okay. Yeah, so one of the first things I noticed in the movie was the mo most obvious in all of this is that the, the hard work and what these guys go through to get these games out. Yeah. I yeah. mean, Phil Fish for Fez, whether you like the guy or hate him, I know there is so much. <laughs> Whole bunch of stuff about Phil Fish. Yeah, whether you like him or not, all these guys that did these movies went through extreme, extreme. I mean, Phil Fish was at the point where one time when he said if Fez didn't get released, he looked at the camera and said, I would kill myself. And he was dead serious. So, yeah, and he's a serious dude. <laughs> yeah. But these are, it's their passion, you know? This is what they want to do. It's what they've wanted to do since they were kids. Yep. And so if they don't go through, there's no possible way that they won't go through with it. Yep. I am determined to make video games, and I make video games because I can. I mean, it's the sum total of every expressive medium of all times made interactive. Like, how is that not... It's awesome. My whole career has been me trying to find new ways to communicate with people, because I desperately want to communicate with people, but I don't want the messy interaction of having to make friends and talk to people, because I probably don't like them. And it's not just a game, like, it's, I'm, I'm so closely attached to it. This is my identity. It's Fez. I'm guy making Fez. You know, that's, that's about it. You guys are so determined, and I've been like that with, with my own YouTube show, and you've been like that, yeah. so we know how it is. We've to, been there, guys. To, we've, we've been there. I not think to they that have, extent. They have it a little harder. I mean, these guys were saying, like, they're, they're so into these games, they feel like they can express themselves through games like Super Meat Boy, through Braid, mm -hmm. and um, Limbo. It's art. It's art is what it is. It's art, and it's, it's you know, visually expressing themselves. And even the guy mm -hmm. that made Braid, after everything he went through to get it done, the game came out well-received, did great, but people were, comp were comparing him to, as kind of like an egotistical guy, and he said that he was depressed for, like, six months after this came out, even with all the success it had. I know the guys yeah. that did Super Meat Boy just went through so much in Microsoft giving them like their game on the front page of the, the, the marketplace and it wasn't there for like the first eight hours. Yeah, and freaking, I would, after all the time and money that they put into this, yeah. not really that much money, but all the time that they put into it. Other games that kind of stick out for, you know, that in the indie world is things like Minecraft. It's like we almost forget yeah. that, that was an indie game it's because so of the success. It's so huge now. Actually, one of the interesting things is I just got back from E3 and just about every single booth there was Minecraft for PS3, Minecraft for PS4, Minecraft for Vita, Minecraft for Xbox One. It's everywhere. It's every, for every craft system. has Minecraft. Every craft. Was that like a craft like craft re fair remotely craft? Remotely good, yeah. But hey, so with all the, one of the biggest arguments I saw was people saying, "Is it just like a waste of technology?" Because obviously, a lot of these games aren't, you know, Titanfall graphics aren't, yeah. you know, Call of Duty aren't the new, you know. Left for Dead and all this. So it's like these guys don't want that huge commercial success. And also I did tweet to you guys just now at The Grid Gaming and mm -hmm. wanted to see what you guys thought. And so just a, 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 quip, a quick couple thoughts that you guys said is, um, Chris Newman said the best games are the games that take a simple concept and execute them perfectly like Towerfall Ascension. Uh -huh. um, someone else, Bad Men Reviews said, I think they are hot and sexy. Okay. Is that, is that is that us? <laughs> sure. Another one. Um, Ao the gamer said, "I love that more and more of the indie games are actually better than a lot of big games released nowadays." So yeah. I know there's a lot of mixed feelings on it. We just basically want to do this video kind of as a discussion for you guys just to leave your comments and let us know. Yeah. You know, tweet us and talk to us on Facebook and let us know just what you guys think yeah. on these. The last thing I wanted to say yeah. is uh, couch co-op yes. is a pretty big thing in the indie world. And a lot of people say that it's an artistic choice, but a lot of it comes down to money, that they would actually want to have a massively multiplayer game, but it's just, they can't do it. Yep. So, but it's very interesting because the AAA people see that, yep. and they're like, well, 
do we want to do a uh, couch co-op or what's going on? I like couch co-op. I, I love it. There's I nothing it. better than sitting in a room with the guy you're playing with and playing his and game. punching him in the face. It's great. Kicking him in the I legs and cursing at their family. Throwing him out the window. We don't know where we're hurting going Hurting them. This. Yeah, but all right, you guys. Hey, thanks for watching us here on The Grid. And hopefully you guys uh, you know, can leave your thoughts in the comments below. And let us know. And like the video and also subscribe. We're here every day, all day, every day, every night, every morning. We never leave. Evening. We never leave. Yeah, we never leave. We never leave. Again, I'm Aaron Stapish. I'm Greg Wilmot. And you guys, take it easy. Have a good day. I'm gonna point Thanks for joining too. us here at The Grid Gaming. Oh, get it in. You right there, I see you on your couch. <laughs>